everybody, it's Ross here, and welcome back to The Den. In this video, I'm going to be, for the most part, finishing up the last three modular sections of my train table layout design, and, well, crossing fingers that next week I'll have enough, you know, enough spare change for the 12 2x4s I need to finish the job. But without further ado, let me get to what I'm going to be talking about here in terms of these last three sections. So to begin with, I have my plywood already set up on the ground. I haven't marked it yet, nor have I cut it yet. Basically, I'm going to use it as my little work surface temporarily to get my stra uh, strapping measured to size. Now, one by now this batch of 1x3 strapping is actually a lot nicer this time around. And it's like a lot better than the last few bundles I bought. Now the cost of these, like the plywood has gone up a whole $7 since I last uh, bought a sheet. Uh, the strapping stayed around the same price, so between that and the plywood, it still cost me a hundred bucks. So next week, I'm hoping to film the last bit of the tables getting together with 12 2x4s. I'm looking at looking at again about $120. That's crazy. These be two dollars a stud. Now they're like almost not ten dollars before tax. Insane, isn't it?
Well, I'm happy to get them all done up. Have you seen the quick little time lapse? I kind of struggle with that last third piece. And my cut on the back end of this table is a little longer than it needs to be. I can easily correct that though, no problem. But uh, I'm just glad, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just glad it's done. They're, this part of it's finished. I do, however, need to put their uh, cross members in and then add a couple more screws on this side and, you know, on each one. But for right now, I'm going to test fit these and see how it all looks. So things are looking pretty darn good. I got the corner of 4x4 in. However, this here is a foot short. That's okay. Because where I messed up on this piece here originally, this section, where I, for some reason, I, I must have been reading my blueprints upside down. Always triple check your blueprints, folks. Because you'll make the mistake of where you make a perfectly fine 2x6, which you remedy to a 2x5, but turns out you need a 2x4 for this section, but that 2x5 could have been used for this section. So this could have been that. <laughs> However, this this uh, this oversight on my part does give me a bonus here, though. So instead of having to build table legs around the sump pump motor, I'm not just going to make a platform section to fit right in there. So really, I just got to worry about the leg in this corner, which I have a steel plate for. And this one here, I don't have a steel plate for. So I got to make up something to stick in the hole to help hold that corner up. But overall, though, uh, it's, it's great. It's looking great. And I have enough scrap material here to make this uh, midsection piece. So that's no problem. Holy smokes. I'm getting kind of excited now because it's almost done. But I just need some more 2x4s for the legs. So everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you found this some sort of way interesting or entertaining. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish these up, get the cross members in, um, add a couple additional screws to the those shorter ends, and then I'm going to put together the legs on this one and stick it in there. At least that way, that one's done. I have enough 2x4s to hopefully, like again, hopefully do that one up at least. And uh, next week, hopefully I can finish these two. And that way, all I have to do now is get the little bits I need before I can start doing the uh, second layer. But hey, it's almost there. I'm so excited, and I'm just shaking with anticipation. So again, thanks for watching, and do take care. I'm hoping my next video, I will have my studio ready, so I can start filming and painting down in there. By painting, I mean miniatures and all that. Alright, everybody, take care now.